Welcome back to Wood Acres. I think we're getting pigs today. Opened up the barn this morning and I was all out of water. So I'm gonna bring a couple more rounds of buckets up and fill up my tank on the inside and then we'll get started. Hey goat, how you doing? Hello goat. Come on puppy, get a bucket bud. Grab a bucket. All right, well, I was able to get three rounds of buckets up here with the backhoe before we had to load up the backhoe and send it to my brothers. I was able to get about 40 gallons in my tank here, and then I filled up all the buckets and just left them sit here to be used. And I was able to get all the waters all changed out here for the chickens and the goats, and then fill all the pools up with fresh water and the waters for the ducks as well, get them all new change out. I did get all my irises lifted up out of the ground. I just haven't got them replanted yet. But me and Echo Pup are up here for another reason, huh, bud? Yeah, probably gonna need one of these. Spot, what are you doing? Screen Queen taking your box. All the boxes are taken right now. We got two broody chickens in here. What are you doing, Gina? That's not a nesting box, that's the goat feeder. So the pigs should be coming today. We're just waiting on the farmer that I get my pigs from to finish baling hay so him and my brother can use the trailer and bring the pigs on over to my house. So until then, I'm up here working on the goat hut. I've been making some latches for all the different gates that I have here. I don't wanna have to buy latches because I looked out at the store and they're like $13 a piece and I need four, five, six, seven gate latches just for the goat enclosure here. So. I don't want to be buying all those and I figured I could make some simple gate latches without going buy anything. So I looked into making my own gate latches because my goats actually broke out of their pen. They have the little swivel latch. One of these things. They have the little swivel latch that just clips right into the hole and they were able to kick the gate uh, enough to work these little threads right out of the wood. So I figured I needed to replace the latch and get a nice stronger latch on there but I was looking at the prices of them at the store and some of the bigger latches can get really high in price. So I figured I could make something simple out of wood and metal that I have lying around the house instead of going buy anything. For the goats I put two by fours in here with wedges that I already had cut from other projects. They don't even fit perfectly but they fit secure and they're strong and then I just took another two by four two screws in the end so it can't slide left or right and just dropped it in between and that's been holding the goats ever since I just have to lift it up <laughs> drop it there I have this one here for extra security just and support just to hold the bottom from them pressing on it excuse you flop but this one is pretty nice for holding the top in and it's easy to use let it drop in, Flop. Let it drop in, buddy. Thank you, good goat. You can see they use the gate a lot for rubbing up against. I gave them a nice little brush in there, but they don't seem to be using it. Hey, little goat. Hey, Pop. Me. There's a baby robin up there, and you don't need to bother it, okay? Oh, they're sleeping. They're all sleeping, puppy. Come on, we don't want to bother them. I have a lot of doors and gates here around the homestead and I decided to make some simple gate latches and I like being creative so I decided to make them all different. So I have a pallet gate over here and it gives me access back to the rain barrel. This one's real simple, it just has a 2x4 on a loose bolt and this one swivels up. And then I just have a little wedge that I already had cut from other projects. I screwed it in there to keep the 2x4 away and then an old piece of scrap wood just to give myself a little handle here to lift up and swing. It works pretty easily. I'm able to get in and out of here and then this will just drop right down and have a nice secure fit right in there that I think the goats aren't going to really mess with. Once it's latched, I don't think the goats are going to get too far in there to really work this out. And then even if they pop it up, it'll keep falling back down. So hopefully this will be able to keep the goats out unless they get it real perfect. And then we'll still have to lift it up because this one sits on the ground. So they'll still have to get out. I put a little stop there so it can't get pushed through by them kicking on it. So uh, this one works out real easy, real simple. 
and hopefully that's gonna last. So I have another pallet gate on the other side and this gives me access to my little storage corner. I'm not gonna be using this gate often at all so I don't need it to be easy access, but I wanted it to be secure. So I have a different style latch here. What I did was just take a two by four, rip it in half, and then I just, out of the What I did for this one was take a two by four, rip it in half, and then I used the one block on one side and the other block I attached to the gate so they do overlap. And then I drilled a half inch hole straight down through both of them that when they line up, I'm able to put the pin in and it locks it in place. I was a little worried that the goats might put their nose here and push that up. So I just put this two by four or I don't know, ripped two by four chunk right next to it to make that a lot harder. If they're able to push it up, I don't think they're gonna be able to shoot it all the way out. Since this is the only point of attachment, I figured this was gonna have a lot of swing. So what I did was add a swivel latch here that I have on the chicken tractor as well. So a loose screw down at the bottom and it just swings up and swings back down to lock in place. And that works because I have that block board on the back. So you can't push through. And then this comes down and pins it in between both pieces. So as you can tell, not all my gates are perfect and they don't all land square and flush. So sometimes you have to get creative with the gate latches. Even the ones at the store probably wouldn't work perfect and I'd have to modify them to work on my gates anyway because I've made my own gates and they're all different. Like this one inside the goat hut here, it's gonna be closing onto a tree trunk. So this is, tree trunk is actually one of the supports. It might actually have been a branch, but a really big branch. This gate's gonna be closing on it. And I don't really have equal areas here to be shutting the gate on. So my plan for one is to put a block so it doesn't get pushed through. So I'm gonna to need to do something to block this from actually going too far. But I wanna close this off right about here so I can sit flush. And what I'm thinking of doing is putting a bolt latch on this one. No, Poppy, you can't have those baby birds. I gathered up some scrap pieces of wood that I had lying around in my shed, and I have a picture in my head how this is gonna go, so we're just gonna get started. Enough said. and you can have your nest back for a little bit. I gotta go down to the garage and use some different tools. Oh, squat, did you lose your shade cover, buddy? Let me help you. There you go, squat, all back in the shade. I'm gonna take a break from the latch right now. My brother just brought me a load of hay. I gotta get this taken up to the barn. You ready, pup? I love the farm truck.
fish are already eating it. Look at you goats. You guys hungry, aren't you, huh? Got all this hay you're already trying to eat through the fence. Survivors? You all hanging out together on the hay pile, are you? I was wondering if all the survivors would stick together and stay in their own flock and they seem to be staying buddies. Huh, Dizzy? Whoa, 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 puppy coming in. I wanna give these goats some fresh hay because they look like they've been wanting it, huh, buddy? You eating that? Coming in, ladies. Oh, almost lost you. Oh, this is fresh. I can still feel some moisture in it. Here goats, you're gonna like this. Let me pull this old stuff out. Yeah, this is mulchy hay. Ow, don't pinch my fingers, flop. Hold on, bud. Hold on, little goat. You get this fresh stuff in there for you. You're gonna like that. Yeah. There you go, goats. That's what I thought. Some green in here. Spoiling you goats. Clean you up a little bit. There you go, guys. Give you something to do for a while. Get the farm truck back to my brother so he can take it down and get the pigs. Get in, pup. As much as I'd like to do all the homesteading myself and not really ask for help, I find myself counting on other people quite often. So I just got all the feed hay dumped off for now. All right, I just threw off all the hay for now. I gotta stack that in the barn, but I wanna get back to work on this gate latch. I got the gate here with a panel attached to the tree trunk to give me a nice flat surface to mount everything to. I did make my notches here or my custom little locks here. And then I have the old ax handle that I'm using as my slide. And then I grabbed an old dowel rod that I'm gonna have to find a good piece of to put on my lock. So I'm gonna get these all mounted and attached and then we'll see if it works. That ain't straight. Grabbed another hot drill bit and burnt my fingers. But I got these in place now. I can slide the ax handle through and actually latch the gate. So that'll actually make a nice bolt latch. But what I need to do now is make it so that the goats can't just keep bumping it and have it slide. So I'm gonna have to put a little lock right here like you would see on a normal bolt latch. And that's where the dowel rod comes into play. Just have to find the right drill bit, which is probably gonna be the half inch. Yep. 
out there. So I think I have a working gate latch now. Let's just take a moment to appreciate it for a second. A job well done. I like the way it turned out. I'm even liking the way it looks. So we used all scrap materials here and we made a standard bolt latch. It has the catch on this side and then these two supports. We have the dowel rods shoved in there and glued like a little peg so that when it's closed and locked, the goats can't get it and uh, rattle it back and forth to even come out. You'll have to move the dowel rod up over the screw and then it'll unlatch and open. And then the dowel rod keeps it from falling all the way out. And I think that's gonna work out really nice for the goats here. I did end up using one of these swivel latches and that's so whenever the gate does open up, I can hook that right here. And that'll keep the gate open and the goats won't be able to shut themselves out of going over and getting their water that's going to be staying in this pen here. And I also needed to add a stopper. So what I did here was put a 3x4 up against the trunk of the post here. And that also catches the latch to give the latch a lot more support there. I have a wedge in there and now this just to add that extra grab. And then at the bottom of that I have a 2x4 just to give it that little stop so it can't be pushed in. That keeps it a nice tight gap that most predators and the goats definitely won't be able to fit through. So we're working on this goat hut piece by piece. We got another gate latch on and I've been really enjoying using these different simple mechanisms in creating my own latches for these gates. I think it's important to have some simple skills that you can get things done on the homestead in-house without actually having to go out and buy things. The robin had her babies and they're up here sleeping in the nest. It looks to be three maybe four of them in there i don't want to spook them all right well that was my plan for today was to come up here and knock that out on the goat hut i can't just stay up here all day working on things i have a lot of things going on the property where i'm trying to get stuff done so i'm planning on going down and doing some gardening some mulching and planting and hopefully after that the pigs will be here and i gotta get all the hay stacked up in the barn that's gonna be all for this one if you want to see the pigs make sure you come back for the next video if you enjoyed all the simple latches that i was making you might end up using something like that on your homestead let me know in the comments down below you can see me and echo on the next one thanks for watching